Moving right along into solving uh, quadratic equations by graphing. Okay, this is really just going to take our same idea from uh, the previous video and apply it. Okay, so let's do this. We've got um, x squared minus 2x is equal to 3. And what we're going to do here is we're basically going to pretend that this is a function. Okay, so I'm going to change this into. We'll change this into. Um, <clears throat> First, we'll take x squared minus 2x, and we're going to take this 3 and move it over, so I get minus 3 is equal to 0. Okay, And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically say, okay, well, let's pretend this is where it's equal to 0 here, right? Well, let's see where it is other places on the graph, okay? So then let's make it, what would it be if it's y equals x squared minus 2x minus 3, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find what my axis of symmetry is. So it's going to be negative, negative 2 over uh, 2a, which is 2. So x is going to be equal to 1, okay? Then I'm going to plug that back in, and I'm going to get 1 squared minus 2 minus 3, okay? Which is going to be, let's see, 1, negative 4, Okay, this is what y is equal to. So y is equal to negative 4. So I'm going to get uh, my graph here is going to be 1, comma, 1, comma, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 4. Okay? And then from here, I'm going to use, I know that a, right? a is 1. So I'm going to use my parent parabola. Over 1, up 1. Over 2, up 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? Um, let's see negative 3, which makes sense, right, because here is my y-intercept. And then, again, this is my axis of symmetry, so I can just reflect these points across, and I'm going to get 1, 2, okay? And so my parabola goes up like this. And what you can tell is these two, okay, the two points where it crosses the... Uh, <coughs> where it crosses the y-axis, I'm sorry, the x-axis, okay? And so we can go ahead and plug those in. So we know that uh, the zeros, okay, or to solve this by graphing, is that x is equal to negative 1, and also x is equal to 3, right, or 3. And if you plug these in up here, we'll see if it works, okay? 3 squared is 9, 9 minus 2 times 3, 2 times 3 is 6, so 9 minus 6 is 3. That works. If we do negative 1, that would be 1 squared minus 2 times negative 1 is positive 2, so 1 plus 2 is 3. All right, it looks like it works, okay? So again, the idea is basically turn it into, make it equal to 0, turn it into a graph, okay, or y equals turn it into a function, Find your axis of symmetry, okay? Find that, what x is there uh, on your axis of symmetry there. Then plug that in and find out what your y portion of the vertex is, okay? Find your vertex, use your parent parabola to plot your points, and then see where does it cross the x-axis where x is equal, or where y is equal to zero, right? This is where y is equal to zero, okay? So go ahead, you might want to actually, what might be beneficial to you is if that seemed a little complicated, is pause the video, go back, and maybe write all those steps down. Okay. Well, let's try another one here. <coughs> Negative x squared plus 2x is equal to 1. So why don't you go ahead and try to set that up into a uh, function form where it's going to look like y equals. All right. Um, let's see, do this. <coughs> so this is going to be negative x squared plus 2x is equal to 1. All right, so I'm just going to move the 1 over to the neg other side here. So I've got negative x squared plus 2x minus 1 equals 0. So that's going to make it y equals negative x squared plus 2x minus 1. So then I'm going to find my axis of symmetry. So I've got uh, x is equal to negative b over 2a. All right, so x is equal to negative 2 over 2 times negative 1. So x is going to be equal to negative 2 divided by negative 2 is 1. Okay, let's see, let me make sure, negative b, negative 2, this is 1, 2 times 1, yeah, negative 2. All right, so that looks good. So then y equals, I'm going to plug 1 in here, so I'm going to get negative 1, because I'm going to do 1 squared, okay, plus 2, and then minus 1. So I'm going to get negative 1 plus 2 minus 1. So that actually, hmm, that looks like y is equal to 0. Okay, so my axis of symmetry here is going to be where x is, right? My axis of symmetry is x, and my vertex is going to be 0, okay? And so right now, what I should be able to look at is, I should say, huh, 
okay, that means that um, the solution here is when x is 1, right? It's the only way it works. Because if I use my parabola, oops, actually it's going to go down, right? So I'm going to go here, over 1, down 1, over 2, down 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, mirror that across, okay? And if I look at that, so my vertex, or the zero of the function here, is the same. So there's only one solution. And what this really is kind of doing is, if you take a look at this, right, and what I want you to do is shift this idea, and let's do this. Let me factor out a negative, and I'm going to say that's x squared minus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. Well, if you notice, this is a perfect square. So this would be the same as x uh, minus 1 squared is equal to 0. Okay, and if you were, this is if you were factoring it. Well, that's where x minus 1 is 0, okay? And that means x is 1, which is here, okay? And that's why, <clears throat> all right? So your vertex is actually on the, uh, the x-axis. Okay, let's move on. Let's try another one here. Uh, another one, let's try this. All right, there you go. All right, why don't you go ahead, you try doing this one. Okay, hopefully I had a chance to do that, and let's do this. We're going to say x squared. I'm going to move this over, so I get negative 4x plus 7, okay, is equal to 0. So that means y is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 7. So I'm going to find my axis of symmetry. x is equal to negative b over 2a. That means x is equal to negative, negative 4 over 2. So x is equal to 4 divided by 2, which is equal to 2. So x is 2. Okay, x is 2. So let's plug it in, all right? So I'm going to plug in for y. So we're going to say y is equal to 2 squared is 4, minus 4, minus 4 times 2 plus 7. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, y is equal to 4 minus 8 plus 7. So y is equal to, let's see, 4 minus, let's see, 4 plus 7 is 11. 11 minus 8 is 3. So I'm going to get 1 comma, or 2, right? x is 2, y is 3. Oh, sorry, I made a mistake down there. I wrote 8. I think I said 3 and wrote 8. y is 3. Okay, so this is my vertex, 2, 1, 2, 3. Okay, if I look here originally, like uh, here, uh, it's my <coughs> A is 1, so I go over 1, up 1, over 2, up 4, over 1, up 1, mirror this across, and that makes sense, right? Here's my y-intercept, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, my parabola, and you can look at and you say, okay, where does this parabola cross the x-axis? Well, it doesn't. So there is no solution, okay? So this would have no solution, all right? Here, there's no solution here. It can't work, okay? Okay, and again, this will make more sense a little bit when we start talking about this idea of what's called the discriminant, all right? Okay, so another way of saying this is sometimes they'll talk about finding zeros, all right? This is when you find the x-intercepts of the function. That's exactly what we were just doing. It's just when you say, where does this thing equal zero, all right? So when, when, they, when you see something say, find the zeros of the function, it just means find where does it cross the x-axis, okay? And that's going to be where y is equal to zero, okay? So you would just take this whole thing, this problem here, and you say zero is equal to x squared plus 6x minus 7. That's what you're looking for, okay? And then there's going to be multiple ways of doing this. You can try solving it by graphing. You could try solving it by... Um, by uh, 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 factoring, those are different ways. And then later in a couple sections, we're going to learn how to use the quadratic formula to do this as well. Okay, I'm not going to solve this problem. Um, if you wanted to solve it, you can go ahead. You're going to get x is um, <clears throat> x is equal to 7 or x is equal to negative 1. Okay, those are going to be the two answers.